Yo guys and welcome back to this new video here on the channel and on today's video on the channel we're going to discuss the Bitcoin price action because Bitcoin is right now trading on some key levels of support and resistance and on today's video we're going to discuss on where Bitcoin is potentially heading towards from this point here and where we do see Bitcoin heading towards in the coming weeks so if you're interested in this don't forget to right away smash up that like button and let's dive right away in towards the content so Bitcoin like you can see I'm currently still in my positions and I currently will be still keeping my positions open because I too still anticipate Bitcoin is going to reach new autumn highs in the coming weeks from now on here. As well, if we're going to quickly look at the Bitcoin weekly CME close, we do know that the Bitcoin weekly CME did close here on the 61k here. So what we are going to be anticipating right now here is if Bitcoin is going to trade above the 61k for the weekend remaining of the weekend we could be anticipating a monday correction back towards the 61k level and then further increase once again back towards the upside and of course if bitcoin is going to fail to hold on towards this level and if bitcoin is going to even go lower back towards targets between uh yeah 50,000 towards 60,000 of course we're going to go just lower from off this point in the weekend we are going to see a monday pump once again so keep your eyes wide open on this right now here so the further we drop off on the weekend the bigger long opportunity we're going to get here and the further we increase on the weekend the more significant short opportunity you for sure are going to be having to trade bitcoin here towards the downside so that's a quick heads up that you guys have to be knowing here but let me then right away go in towards the actual charts what we're seeing right now here so bitcoin is right now creating a massive pattern here where you should be keeping your eyes on wide open on right now here so you can clearly see over here bitcoin clear downward slope versus line that we have been talking about yesterday as well here and you can see we found several rejections by this range here so of course the more rejections we're going to get by this range the more significance is added by this level as well the upper sloping support line support getting found support getting found support getting found support getting found and another time we did clearly found some support over here so yeah we got approximately five clear very touch points and i'm very curious to see where the market is heading towards from of this point here right now here because yeah like you can see in front of your screen right now bitcoin is really closing in towards an apex right now here and of course we have to be choosing a direction here in the coming hours because in the coming nine hours we're approximately going to reach the apex like i do already know here there is that bitcoin tends to be breaking out before reaching the apex and of course a breakout through the upside is going to be bullish for the remaining of the weekend a breakdown from here on is going to be bearish for the remaining of the weekend so keep your eyes on wide open right now here because these are very critical times to be of course keep your eyes out on the market so at the same time we can clearly see if we're going to be measuring this target let me quickly set this up here guys if we're going to be measuring a price target on the symmetrical triangle yeah we could be either aim for bitcoin increasing back towards the levels around the 65,000 us dollars and of course that is going to be an approximately 6.4 percent measured move here and if we're going to see a breakdown from up this point we could be aiming for an approximately 6.4 percent correction and that could be resulting in bitcoin retracing it's all the way back towards the 57.2k here so yeah these are either very strong opportunities of course i don't necessarily anticipate we're going to reach these targets in the weekend but i do expect if we're going to be breaking out we're going to see a further increase if we're going to break the top side and uh, we're going to come down down on monday and then we're going to increase once again if we break down it's going to be the exact same here so uh, keep your eyes on wide open for this one right now and it's definitely going to be quite important to see where this market is heading towards right now here if we're going to take a quick look at all the momentum that we're currently getting generated on bitcoin it looks to me that we're still having quite healthy momentum that in the trend that we're right now in here it just looks of course very neutral there's not a bullish there's no barriers of virgins so i will be remaining particularly neutral right now on this market if we're going to look at the four hour candles we looks to be creating right now as well a descending triangle descending triangle is a typical bearish bias pattern and of course if this bearish bias pattern is going to be breaking down here we want to be seeing of course a break of the horizontal level support if we break the horizontal level support we could be aiming for bitcoin retracing back towards the 59.2k and of course if we're going to be seeing an increase from here on we could be aiming for the 62.7k for bitcoin right on the four hourly candles but yeah 
this pattern still has some more time to consolidate so this time around yeah you can see another eight hours approximately in this pattern before the breakout will be occurring and of course this gives you a little bit more time to be anticipating this breakout as well here since this one um i said on the four, four hour but i mean the one hour um <laughs> excuse me this is of course on the one hour candles and this could be as well uh yeah it shows really the direction that the market is going to head towards in the coming hours from now on but yeah if i'm going to look at the four hourly candles I'm really seeing some other interesting patterns right now playing out as well. So like you do already know, we were forming a massive falling wedge. We shoot up. Right now we're forming another continuation pattern. And, and at the same time, while we are forming these patterns, guys, let's have a quick look at the market structure. Higher low, higher low, higher low. Or is this the next low that we're creating right now for the further continuation up here since we as well have been forming a higher high structure? So Percy, I will be very curious to see where the market is heading towards from this point here. And I'm curious as well <coughs> to see where the market in general could be heading towards from of this point but yeah like we likewise we're right now seeing we're seeing a falling wedge again create on the four early candles what is of course relatively bullish here in my opinion so i definitely can't wait to see where the market is going to be breaking towards right now here but in order to of course see this for an increase towards the upside you once again want to be seeing this four hourly close above this resistance line over here and as soon as we're going to do so we are going to see a further increase for bitcoin as well we did flip this previous support uh previous resistance level over here back into uh, uh previous support zone once again back into resistance like you can see here this level provided us very very significant rejections support and right now we're trading below it so this level will be once again a major level of resistance and i will be make it red once again here so that's going to be quite important to look at as well we're going to be purely look at the daily time frame we're basically bouncing between two ranges and of course if bitcoin is going to come down here once again towards 57k i will be for sure accumulate because these lower sides are the accumulation zones and just like we had several times before here we usually come down we increase we come down again and then we shoot further up because the fear really kicks in the market if you're going to come down for a second time here so Percy, yeah i don't really see a major reason to start to be panicking right now here but of course we do know it's weekend and i will be keeping my weekend prediction wide open right now here and i will be still anticipate this 61k getting reached on monday so keep your eyes wide open if we're going to pump on monday uh, the weekend i will be still stay a little bit more cautious if we're going to take it slow on the weekend i will be of course still uh yeah looking forward towards what we could be seeing what is going to be playing out on monday so guys this was already it for today's update video thank you so much for watching once again to this amazing new update video on the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye